let's make some raffle gifts hi guys and thank you so much for watching my videos if you are new to my channel welcome please consider hitting that like subscribe and notification bell so you never miss an episode so um i need to make some raffle gifts of course you guys know i'm constantly making these i have a bike night on july july 11th august 14th and september 8th i'm not 100 percent sure if those dates are right because i don't have a calendar in front of me but it's the second friday of every month now i already made some for the one that's coming up in july i showed it to you guys in my blog these ones are going to be for the august and september bike nights we're going to have which i'm super excited about we're going to raise some money for my nonprofit. we're trying to raise enough money to buy Vans sneakers for um, the park. So the park we're going to be doing for our toy drive is going to be a larger park with a lot more kids. So we're expecting maybe 100 kids, so we're gonna need about 100 pairs of shoes, which can be really costly. Luckily, we know a girl, a lady who's super nice. Um, she works in the corporate office and she gets a 50% discount. So we're trying to just cover that expense so we don't have to come too much out of pocket. So I'm gonna show you some of the raffle gifts I'm making and maybe it'll give you some ideas on how you can utilize your stockpile. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> first gift I'm going to make is a raffle man's gift. I have this classic multi-tool 10 in 1. It's compact design, ideal for storage in a vehicle, home, backyard, backpack, or pocket. Um, it retailed for $15 at Target, and I got this at um, after Christmas clearance. If you see any of my clearance hauls, you know this is what I utilize them for. It was 90% off, so instead of paying the $15, I paid $1.50 for it. Um, Eagle Lights was kind enough to send over a donation. They sent over some t-shirts and some um, lights for the motorcycle. I'll show you what I'm using the lights for, but I utilized one of the t-shirts from them. Um, this ride free sign is from Timu. It was only a couple bucks, so I ordered that. Um, I also got donated this beautiful watch. Super nice. And then I got donated from Huntington Beach Harley Davidson, this awesome Harley Davidson Zippo lighter, which they no longer make. And I think this retailed for like 50 bucks. Let's see, $32.99. Not bad. So I'm going to put this together. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Then um, number one, my ring is being clean. So don't think there's anything going on. Because sometimes when I don't wear my ring in these videos, you guys are like, is everything okay? Everything's fine. I have my ring in the little cleaning machine. So it'll be ready in a few minutes and then I'll probably put it on somewhere mid video. Secondly, yes, I have a cold. That's why I'm doing um, at home videos. I have an empty videos that is probably either gonna go before this video or after. So take a look at that. It's like all of my favorites. I haven't done that in so long. So I have an empty videos coming up and then I decided to do baskets. And then hopefully, I'm actually feeling a lot better today than I did yesterday. And yesterday my grandkids were still here with me. They finally left. Um, but it was a rough day for me yesterday. I was super sick, but I still wanted to hang out with them. I wore a mask, of course. I took a COVID test in case you guys are wondering. It's I'm negative for COVID. I'm just sick. I think I got a summer cold, all this, you know, beach and water stuff and just being up late with the kids and stuff. I think it just finally hit me. So I do have a cold, so that's why I sound so congested. I am congested. I have a cough and no fever or anything. I do feel a lot better. So I know you guys are probably like, oh, my gosh, she sounds horrible. I know. I know. Okay, so continuing on. I just wanted to answer those questions because I know you guys are going to be like, are you sick? Yes, that's why I'm not at the stores today. Okay, underneath I have plastic bags that we get, of course, when we shop. And then I put some tissue on top. So I think this is going to be a really great little raffle gift. It has a little bit of everything that every guy likes. A lighter, a watch, a nice t-shirt, some signage, and a multi-tool. So all I got to do is shrink wrap and this one is ready to go. So with the shrink wrap, I haven't showed you guys this in a very long time. I used to, I used to use the shrink wrap pull in bow from Dollar Tree. Um, Dollar Tree has not had those in probably about a year, unfortunately. So I ordered mine off at Amazon. 
I know it's a reorder of mine, so I'll just go on my Amazon account and link that shrink wrap in the description box if you guys want to order it. Um, it comes like this. It's basically a bag. And what I do is I'm going to show you guys how I shrink wrap. Firstly, I open the bag. You make like a circle. And then you're going to put your black basket inside. Now that the basket is inside, you want to make sure that it is centered as well. And then I'm going to place my items inside the basket. Now you can do it both ways. You can put the basket with the items inside the shrink wrap. But I find like when you just place them, you have an idea where you're going to place them. And you just do it this way. It's a lot easier. So we're going to place these items. And then we're going to start shrink wrapping. So when you shrink wrap, you definitely want to start from the bottom up. Now you can use a blow dryer. I actually use a heat gun. Heat guns are, they can be really expensive. The one I have is a Milwaukee. It's one of the more higher end heat guns. It was actually my husband's. I kind of stole it from him. But you can find heat guns on sale at Harbor Freight, at Home Depot, and they're usually about less than $20. And it's a great investment, especially if you do a lot of baskets like I do. So now that the basket's done, the only thing I wish that these shrink wrap pull and bows came with was an actual bow. They don't come with a bow, but I usually am able to score some at um, Dollar Tree or the 99 cent only store. So I'm not too concerned about it, but I wish I did have bows, like the really nice bows they used to come with. So, And then what I use is a piece of regular like ribbon string. Try to and I'm just gonna tie this best I can with one person. I don't have another finger to help me tie. One. I usually go behind here. Make another knot. Try to make it as tight as possible. And I go back around. So now that it's tied, the only thing I gotta do left is just do the final shrink wrap. I go over it one more time just to make sure all the creases are out. I think this gift came out really nice. I kind of wish that Harley. Um, lighter would show more that's because I oh no it got, kind of fell out but that's okay I'm not gonna worry too much about it I'll have a little description on there so they can see what's in the actual basket because sometimes when you shrink wrap it, it all gets condensed together and you can't really see every little thing that's in there so I usually put little descriptions on them so they'll see that and then they'll put their tickets in And this one is ready to go as you can hear you may or may not know this if you're new to my channel welcome I do have a blue and gold macaw her name is Miss Daisy and she lives in this stockpile room thank God she decided to share it with me um, and she's up so if you hear a little like hello in the background squawking sometimes she'll cry I don't have a baby I am NOT abusing any children I'm a grandma so I don't have any little ones in the house that is my blue and gold macaw and she is up and she's pretty it's summertime so she's pretty noisy during the summer so um, if I can I'll bring her out if not um, you guys know who it is it's Miss Daisy Fuentes she's our blue and gold macaw okay let's go on to gift number two okay so second gift Classic Games Texum Hold'em Poker Set, 120 poker chips, 108 cards, one dealer chip, and one felt poker mat. This I found at the Swamp Meet for five bucks, so I picked that up. Um, this was donated by Eagle Light, so it's the covers, and these are premium lighting 
front LED turn lights for your motorcycle. Of course, an Eagle Lights t-shirt. And then this awesome man cave. What happens in the man cave stays in the man cave. This was from Hobby Lobby. I got this at 75% off. It was only a couple bucks. So inexpensive raffle gift, but really nice. And then the basket I got from the swap meet. Um, they're having a great deal on baskets. These, this was only three bucks. Usually I get my baskets at the Goodwill, but um, I decided to go ahead and go for the hunt at the swap meet and I was able to score some. Okay, let's put this one together. Okay, so I think this is a very nice raffle gift for a, a lucky guy. We're going to shrink wrap this one and call it good. Okay, so ne next raffle gift is going to be for a woman because we do have a lot of ladies that come with their husband to bag night or they come themselves. So we always like to have a variety of items for these for everybody that comes. So this container is so cute. I got to clean it. Of course, I'm going to do that. It was at the Goodwill for $2.49 metal with the sunflower. So I can do something pretty cute with it. I found this at, I want to say it was a 99 cent only store. It's like a little tub. And I was thinking of filling it. I already opened this with these um, bath bombs. I might do that. And then I have a lemon buttercream candle that I got at Aldi on clearance. Um, Semi-annual sale, the aroma sandalwood and vanilla spray, as well as the lotion. And then I have a Freeman um, deep clearing mask. This was from the Dollar Tree. And then this Modern Expressions stainless steel travel mug that I got 90% off at Walgreens. And then finally, a diffuser that I got for like a dollar or something at Aldi. So I might take this out of the packaging as well because it might take up too much room. So we're going to put it together and we'll see how it looks. So this one is done. I think it came out super duper cute. I love the way that diffuser looks. I added more bath bombs. I ended up using three packages because that bathtub is actually pretty big. But I think it's a, such a cute gift. Um, the bath bombs I bought at the 99 and Dollar Tree. And I really need to deplete my stock on those. I have a ton of bath bombs that I just need to get rid of. So happy to do that. I think it's a great gift. And it's going to be great for raffle as well. A great Make a great birthday gift, Mother's Day gift. Um any occasion gift, even a Christmas gift. It's super duper cute. Okay guys, so next gift is another ladies gift. These ones are so easy to me. It's the men's ones I always struggle with. So we do have an ideal bath jumbo size. I love these because not only are they huge, but they take up a lot of room if you have, if you want to make a smaller gift basket or you just don't have as much filler. So you can find these at the Dollar Tree for buck 25, great deal. I have some amazing um, makeup that G, one of my subscriber, call her Lady G, she uh, sent me a box of really great cosmetics and I told her I would keep some for myself, give some to you guys, and also put some in donation raffle gifts. So I am putting this 100% vegan, beautiful matte blush and bronzer from her the a blush gar blush cardigan by bath and body works the fine fragrant mist the aloe and vitamin e shower gel as well as the body cream i have another one of these diffusers i did take it out of the packaging and then i have the little 
instruction manual with it and add that to the box since I did since I took it out of the box I'm gonna add the manual so they know how to use it um, the cereal milkshake single wick candle from Aldi another Ulta Beauty bouncy blush um, a bath bomb I don't know where I got this from guys this is the bath burst bath bomb I think it was from Dollar Tree um, the gel cream blush from Lady G some lip balm or lip matte lipstick and then this beauty 360 lip balm from the Dollar Tree and then Marina sent me some of these so I decided to add it because it kind of went with everything this is the BYS cosmic eyeshadow palette it's complete with a full-size mirror so I'm adding this together so this is what the raffle gift all the contents are gonna be and I'm gonna use this little guy again because I just I have another one and I want to get it out of my stock so I'm gonna use it with this as well so let's see how this all works out Okay, I will admit I do love the way this one has been put together. The only thing I will do is definitely put a description because when I shrink wrap this, you're not going to be able to see every little detail or every little thing that was put in the basket. So I always put like a little description, which I think will be great. And yeah, that is my last raffle gift. Now guys, friendly reminder, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please, cons please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now, I do have several subscriber prizes up for grabs on my channel. Not only do I love making gift baskets, I also love subscriber gifts. And we have some really great ones on the channel right now. And don't worry, I will link those at the end of the video and they'll be pinned in the comments. Please feel free to take a look at those and enter. Let me know which one is your favorite basket that I made today. And I hope you guys are having a fabulous blessed day. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And remember, if you like these videos, please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And I, I'm going to be talking to you guys real, real soon. I need to go ahead and film that empties video. So that one is probably going to be coming up next. And check that video out because it's going to have a lot of my favorites and I have ultra sensitive skin. So it's always interesting to see. I love watching favorite videos, especially with people with sensitive skin. It's really great to see what they can and cannot use. So that video will be coming up next. You guys stay blessed. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.